Hey, what's up guys? Jeff here from amzaffiliatetools.com and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build an Amazon affiliate website using WordPress and it's going to make it very easy for you to build your own Amazon affiliate store very quickly and your visitors are going to absolutely love it whenever they show up and see what all you have uh, listed in your Amazon affiliate store, okay? So today's video is very, very simple. Um, what we're going to be covering is the three things that you need to be able to uh, set up an Amazon affiliate website. And those three things are a domain name, hosting, and WordPress, okay? So those three things, if you've never heard of them before, they may sound like, huh, what's going on here? I don't know what those three things are. Very, very simple. Let me just explain it to you real quick. A domain name, of course, you're probably familiar with. That's the uh, web address that you type in whenever you're going to visit a website, okay? So that's all a domain name is. It's kind of like your house. It's kind of like an address. So it's like your online home, okay? It's where people go to find you. All right, the second one, hosting, web hosting. Uh, that is where all of your website files are stored. And that's how they are accessed when someone types in your domain name, okay? So without web hosting, if people typed in your domain name, they wouldn't be able to see any kind of website files or anything like that. It would probably just give them some kind of error page. So you need to have web hosting to store your WordPress files on, any other types of software that you're going to be using. And uh, in a future video, I'll be talking about the uh, Amazon affiliate store building software that I actually use to build all of my stores with and I can get those stores up and running in about 10 minutes okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down this entire process into a couple of different videos that way you'll be able to go back and rewatch each video as many times as you want uh, it's not some hour or two long thing uh, that you have to go through and try to figure out what part did I leave off on and stuff like that, right? Uh, so that's my goal is to make it as easy as possible for you and to explain how to build an Amazon affiliate website step by step and make it as easy as possible for you, especially if you're a beginner, okay? And if you're somebody who wants to skip ahead and uh, really just wants to get this thing up and going, go ahead to the link in the description of this video. Uh, there's a link to my free Amazon affiliate training course and you'll be able to get instant access to that training course and you'll be able to go through these steps as quick as you want to, okay? So go ahead in the description right now and click that link. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. That way you'll be able to get my latest video as soon as it's up and ready, okay? Because you know that I'm posting daily Amazon affiliate videos to teach you how to make money with the Amazon affiliate program. And I wouldn't want you to miss out on a single one because I'm trying to deliver as much valuable content as I possibly can. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and jump in and start creating our very own Amazon affiliate website using WordPress, all right? Okay, so if you remember from my last video, we talked about how to uh, find a niche on Amazon. I gave you five really simple tips to find a niche, uh, and then I sent you off on your way to go and, and look at different niches uh, for products that you are already interested in, okay? So if you haven't seen that video, make sure you go back and rewatch that one after you watch this one. Uh, and that way you'll know exactly what to do to find a niche to uh, promote Amazon affiliate products in, okay? Uh, so once you found that niche, the next thing that you need to do is find a domain name uh, to create a Amazon affiliate website with, okay? So for me, whenever I went through all the niches, I decided that I wanted to set up a Halloween of Amazon affiliate store, okay? So uh, first thing I did was I go over here to GoDaddy and we'll type in um, HalloweenCostume.com, okay? Just see what comes up. And I doubt that one will be available. No, it's not available. And then you can go down through here and you can look at all these other suggestions if you want to. Um, let's see. 
Halloween uh, costumes. Nope, not available. Halloween costume store. That was not available. So you want to try to get your main niche uh, in your domain name. Make it something relatable. Make it something memorable. Make it something easy for people to type in, right? Um, so if people can't even pronounce the name of your store or if uh, or your website and they can't find you anywhere, then you know it's going to be really tough for you to get visitors, which means it's going to be really tough for you to get sales, okay? So let's try costume deals. Uh oh, we may have something here. Ah, it's available, but it's three thousand dollars. I'm not going to pay three thousand dollars for it. Let's see if I can get deals with a Z. Aha, bingo, we got one. All right, costume deals is going to be good enough for this video, and plus, I'll probably do updates to this store later on. Uh, let you know how it's doing, show you the progress, show you the sales that I've made, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, you never know what you're gonna what you're gonna get right here, okay? So make sure you subscribe, like I said before, the way you can catch everything that goes on right here on the AMZ Affiliate Tools channel. All right, so I'm going to continue to cart. All right, uh, privacy protection. I don't need that right now. Um, continue. I'm not going to add any extras or anything like that. All right. And I'm just going to register this for one year. Uh, I already have an account. So let me sign into that real quick. All right. So now I am on the, um, uh, checkout page. I'm going to complete my purchase here. All right, and if you've made it this far, then you have successfully bought your domain. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to need is web hosting. All right, so while GoDaddy's setting up my domain name, which will only take a couple minutes, I'm going to go ahead and set up my web hosting. All right, so if you don't have web hosting, you've never had web hosting, whatever, I highly recommend HostGator. It's the web hosting I've been using for about the last eight years or so. Um, and it's very reliable. They have 24 seven customer support. I've actually been in several chats with support over a couple of different technical issues, just stuff I really didn't know how to do and stuff. I didn't have time to research and learn how to do. I was able to get in touch with technical support and say, Hey, um, can you help me out with this on my website real quick? And they've always been very helpful and very friendly to me. I've never had to really wait for a long time. Uh, to get support they also have phone support so if you'd rather talk to somebody you can call them up get support on the line right away um, i haven't ran into really any issues at all that i've needed support with so i haven't um, had to contact them too many times uh, but it's glad it's good to know that they're there when i need them okay um, so for your web hosting i actually have a coupon code that's going to save you a ton of money on your web hosting okay um, so if you um, are going to do like a month to month plan I can get you your first month for only one penny okay um, so uh, if you want to get that that deal the one penny hosting uh, from HostGator then you can go in the description there's a coupon code there's also a link to the shows page on my AMZ affiliate tools website where you'll be able to get all the notes from the show that I'm doing right now so you may actually be on the shows page watching this uh, video and all you need to do is go right below the video uh, to the resources section and you'll get that coupon code you'll get the uh, special links all that kind of good stuff okay and if you're watching this on YouTube then uh, check the description you'll find all the links and coupon codes in the description as well okay all right, so um, you'll just need to start off with this powerful web hosting. Just get the baby plan. Um, I think it's called, yeah, the hatch, the hatchling plan if you're only going to do one site. Now, if you plan on doing multiple sites, which I highly recommend, you might as well go ahead and get yourself set up for later down the road. Get the baby plan because that 
offers you unlimited domains, which means you'll be able to host unlimited websites, okay? So you'll get this one right here, um, and then you can put in the coupon code from below uh, and get your first month for only a penny, or I can get you 60% off, okay? So either or, there's a coupon code for both, um, but those are the best deals that you're going to find on HostGator Hosting, okay? So when you sign up for your account, they're going to email you your name servers, your login information, all that good stuff. So uh, the next step that I'm going to go through is setting up those name servers, and then we will install WordPress, and we'll, we'll be done with this step, okay? All right, so let's let me log into my HostGator account here. And you want to log into the customer portal when you're logging in, if it asks you. And I manage a lot of people's accounts, uh, so I have a lot of logins here, but let me log into mine. And let's see what we got going on here for my web hosting. All right, so this is my customer dashboard here. I can go over to the hosting tab. And then I'll go to my... Uh, C panel. I probably have some kind of fancy web address to go to, but I don't really remember. I didn't bookmark it and I don't feel like looking it up right now. So this is just an easy way for me to be able to, to get into my control panel uh, without having to remember a bunch of stuff and all that. So um, I'm going to go over to my file manager. And then I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to click on this CP up in the top left corner. And like I said, that may be a round and about way to do it, but it gets the job done. That's all I care about. All right. So I'm going to need to look for my name servers here. All right. So I'm going to copy this first one here and I'm going to take it back over to GoDaddy. I'm going to go to manage domains. And I'm going to find my costume deals domain that we just purchased. All right. And then I'm going to click on that domain name. And I'm going to scroll down to where it says manage DNS. All right, and then I'm going to scroll down to where it says name servers, and I'm going to go to change. And I'm going to select the drop down and choose custom. Then I'm going to paste in that first name server there in that first box. And I'm going to go back and grab that second name server. All right, and save. Okay, so it'll take just a couple of minutes for GoDaddy and HostGator to connect with one another. But while it's doing that, I can go ahead and install WordPress. Okay. Let's see. So we can go to Website Essentials and we can go to One Click Installs. And it's so easy to install WordPress um, onto your domain name. And actually, I skipped a step. I need to go back. I need to go to domains let's see nope not domains I need to go back to my let's see let's go over here I need to go back to my um, hosting tab and go to add-on domains all right that's going to open up this window here and all I need to do is without the www or the HTTP or any of that, just type in costumedeals.com, the name of my domain, and add domain. All right, so now that I've got that on there, then I can go to create a WordPress website. And I'll just click on that. Okay, and then I need to select my domain name, so I need to find the one I just added, costumedeals.com, and go to next. 
and type in costume deals the name of my site admin user you can just select whatever you want it to be um, I'm just gonna choose C deals for now my name is Jeff Sherwood and my email address is this one here and automatically create a database agree to the terms and conditions and install and that's it that's all I need to do to install WordPress to my domain name and hosting account and all that good stuff okay so what it's going to do right now is it's running through the process of installing uh, WordPress it takes just a couple of minutes I mean it's so fast look it's already done installation complete I've got my login name my password all that good stuff here all right so I'm going to copy this password and username actually I should just copied all this stuff here all right I'm gonna put it in a notepad and save it to my computer so that I know where it's at and I can log in uh, whenever I whenever I want all right so to actually log in let's see if GoDaddy and HostGator have connected mm, I'm not I don't think so let me just double check not yet okay so it's going to take just a couple more minutes for GoDaddy and HostGator to finish connecting but that's it I mean WordPress is installed it's not set up yet I don't have it set up but actually you don't really need a tutorial on how to set that up if you just keep following my videos uh, then I'm going to be showing you plenty of WordPress tips and tricks that you can use for Amazon affiliate marketing but that's it that's all you need to do uh, to install WordPress so you need to buy a domain name you need to get web hosting and then install WordPress just the same as I just showed you okay um, <clears throat> now in my next video what I'm going to be doing is showing you the exact Amazon store builder that I use to build all of my Amazon stores all right this is very very easy to do and also now that you have your own domain name uh, you can go over and sign up for the Amazon affiliate program because they asked for your website name okay so now you have a name to put in all right so like I said next video we're going to be um, talking about the exact store builder that I use to build all of my Amazon affiliate uh, websites with and stores with uh, but this is the first step that I always take buy a domain name get hosting install WordPress um, and then it's all going to start being more clear to you as we go along all right so if you like I said if you want to get ahead if you want to get this all set up today and start moving forward with it as soon as possible click on the link in the description of this video head over uh, and grab my free Amazon affiliate training course uh, while it's still free I'm thinking about start charging for it again um, I used to charge hundred ninety seven dollars just for this course but now I'm offering it to you for absolutely free so make sure that you grab a copy of that before I start charging for it again um, and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel okay because I'm going to be giving you a ton of information that is going to be very helpful for you you're going to be able to look over my shoulder just like you did just now uh, in this video where I showed you how to install WordPress um, and I'm going to give you a ton of Amazon affiliate marketing tips and tricks along the way all right so I hope that this video was helpful to you if you've never set up uh, WordPress on a domain before uh, like I said click on the link in the description of this video go over to the shows tab um, of my website so that you'll be able to see this show uh, specifically and you'll be able to get the show notes and resources and all that good stuff um, check out the description of this video if you're on YouTube uh, so that you can get uh, you know the special links uh, coupon codes all that good stuff down in the description all right so that's it for now and I'm going to see you very very soon thanks for watching